So next one, why MTP? Why the procedure of MTP is required? So earlier we discussed regarding about MTP. What is MTP? So which type of the people undergoes MTP, medical termination of pregnancy? So go through the point. Obviously, the answer is to get rid of unwanted pregnancies either due to casual unprotected intercourse or failure of the contraceptives used during coitus or rapes. Generally, which type of the people undergoes the MTPs or induced abortions? Obviously, the answer is to get rid of unwanted pregnancies either due to casual unprotected intercourse. Those people are not, uh, those people are don't want children, that type of the people not using any type of contraceptive methods, casual unprotected intercourse, sexual intercourse or sex or failure of the contraceptives in case of failure of the contraceptives also that people are undergoes mtps used by the used contraceptives used during coitus used during coitus whenever the contra contraceptives are using during coitus that is in case fail that people are undergoes mtp or rapes also in the emergency condition in the rapes also the people are undergoes mtps earlier we discussed there is emergency pills that is one of the method and mtp also one of the method okay obviously the answer is to get rid of unwanted pregnancies either due to casual unprotected intercourse or failure of the contraceptives used during coitus or rapes okay right MTPs are also essential in certain cases where continuation of the pregnancy could be harmful or even fatal either to mother or to the fetus or both. This point carefully you can remember. MTPs are also essential, very essential in certain cases, in particular cases, in what cases, where continuation of the pregnancy could be harmful whenever sometimes normal pregnancy there is no problem so there is no mtps are required but mtps especially require in what cases continuation of the pregnancy could be harmful even fatal also fatal means death also to whom either to the mother to the mother or to the fetus either death or harm to the mother either death or harm to the fetus or in both condition also in some of the condition the pregnancy should be continuous both mother and fetus chances for death and harmful condition also in that time mtp is compulsory mtps are also essential in certain cases where continuation of the pregnancy could be harmful or even fatal also either to the mother or to the fetus or both mother and fetus understood or not right next point mtps are considered relatively safe during the first trimester that is up to 12 weeks of pregnancy this point should be highlighted underlined when mtps should be undergoes the people are undergoes when mtps at what time mtps are considered relatively safe during the first trimester up to 12 weeks of pregnancy we discussed in the last chapter the complete pregnancy gestation period divided into how many trimester? Three trimesters. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 4 to 6 and 7 to 9. Three trimester. So first trimester is what? First three months is called first trimester. So MTPs are considered relatively safe during the first trimester only. During the first trimester MTPs are very safe up to 12 weeks of pregnancies. So after that, there is a chances for risk. There is a chances risk to whom? Risk to mother. Second trimester abortions are much more risk to whom? Mother. As well as fetus, it should be the removing of the fetus is takes place by the abortion, induced abortion. The second trimester abortions are much more risk to whom? Much more risk to mother. Right. One distributing trend observed is that a majority of the MTPs are performed 
illegally by unqualified quacks which are not only unsafe but could be fatal too. This point you can remember very carefully. One distributing trend observed is that a majority of the MTPs are performed illegally. So, MTP legalized in the 1971, in the year of 1971 by Indian government. But performed by illegally, by whom? By unqualified quacks. Unqualified quacks means unqualified medicalists. Like uh, there is a bag doctors are there in villages and all. So, unqualified quacks, which are not only unsafe, unsafe for whom? Unsafe for the mother but could be fatal to in case of any any type of by bad luck by any type of uh, so they are not expertise there is chances for not chances for uh, success there is fatal cases also takes place fatal means death cases also takes place death to whom death to mother right so it should be legalized mtp legalized and uh, whenever the people are undergoes they want uh, MTP induced abortion so that people consult with uh, high medical practitioners only very qualified medical qua practitioner also only they should consult right another dangerous trend is misuse of amniocentesis to determine the sex of a unborn child so already we discussed earlier amniocentesis amniocentesis means what a fetal dis detection test another dangerous trend is the misuse of amniocentesis to determine the sex of the unborn child why misuse in case fetus is female the fit female fetus id is it chance to be takes place there is killing of female fetus okay frequently if the fetus is found to be female it is followed by MTP. This is totally again it's uh, what is uh, that is legal. You understood or not this point? Frequently, it, uh, if the fetus is found to be female, and it is followed by the MTP, the people are uh, the female undergoes amniocentesis amniocentesis test, and the confirmation of the sex is female, and the same the after the confirmation of the female uh, fetus the same female undergoes mtp means the mother undergoes mtp it is followed by the mtp it is completely against to the law completely against to the legal understood or not frequently if the fetus found to be female it is followed by mtp this is totally against that is a law right to prevent such happening such things are happening the government has enacted a law act in 1994 again is uh, uh, against this process this misusing uh, so prevent such happening the government has enacted a law act in 1994 it prohibits uh, prenatal sex determination prenatal natal sex is determined determination is prohibited by the act of 1994 given by the released by government of india such practices should be avoided because these are dangerous both for the young mother and the fetus and the societies so whenever it is not prohibited then what happens such practices should be avoided because these are dangerous for both both means whom both the mother and uh, fetus also for the younger mother and the fetus and the society also right and uh, mtp is uh, uh, should be legal and mtps are legalized because the what is the reason these are all there is a chances for misusing and next one effective counseling on the need to avoid unprotected coitus and the risk factors involved in illegal abortions as well as providing more health care facilities could reverse the mentioned unhealthy trend so here what happens effective counseling on the need to avoid unprotected coitus why mtps before at the time of the sex only they should uh, follow the different types of uh, contraceptive methods carefully then uh, there is no need of abortions and all so effective counseling is required on the need of avoid uh, unprotected coitus and the risk factors involved in the illegal abortions in case before marriage anybody participates in the sexual uh, intercourse so what happens that is illegal abortions the consult doctor and do the abortion just do the abortion to me it is possible uh, it is not possible why